is Spitsbergen, an island located within the Arctic Circle. Quite literally, the top of the world. The Arctic is one of the largest unspoiled regions on Earth, but it's a region that's rapidly changing. Well, the impact of climate change is already visible. Here in the Arctic, ice caps or glaciers like these are shrinking as parts of the polar region warm twice as fast as the global average. NASA scientists say in just one year, between 2004 and 2005, the Arctic ice that survives summer shrunk by 14%. Three quarters of a million square kilometers, more than a quarter of a million square miles an area the size of the state of Texas. One study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters even suggests that the Arctic could be free of all summer ice as early as 2040, an event that could have major consequences. We think of the bears and the seals, but there's a whole ecosystem that's part of that, the fish. And um, so when that ice changes, uh, when it's not there in the summer, that whole ecosystem comes apart. We don't know um, whether organisms like bears can adjust in, in four or five generations. It's a very short time. But the fisheries, um, the, the big animals, the hunters that depend on those big animals, that, that whole system seems to come apart. Well, on my recent trip there, we didn't get to see polar bears. But in the future, with sea ice melting earlier and forming later, the sight of one of these photogenic beasts may become even rarer as their food resources dwindle. And if global temperatures keep on rising, there's every chance that this Arctic archipelago could also change from one of the most powerfully picturesque locations I've ever visited to just another barren island and just another ocean.